what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video so i've got the request and i've been teasing and hinting at this video for a little while so in this video i'm going to show you the top 10 in my opinion items that are member non-member items so what that means is they're items that you have to be a member to get but are non-member items, so you can keep them after you uh, after you don't have a member anymore. So I'm a member currently in this game. I've been a member for a long time, and I will continue to be one. But some people uh, can't afford a membership for that long. So if you just get like a one-month membership or a three-month membership, uh, this is kind of for that. So you can keep some cool items that are for members only that you can get. Uh, that are actually non-member items, uh, so you can keep them when you're a non-member. That's my explanation for the video. Let's get into it in three, two. <laughs> All right, real quick before I show the items, I mentioned that you can get a one-month membership. A lot of people don't know that because if you go to Adventure Quest, uh, the game, and it's being weird. My, I don't know what my browser's doing, but. If you go to the upgrade tab on here, um, the minimum membership you can purchase on uh, just going on this site on Adventure Quest Worlds is three months. But if you go over to portal.battlelon.com, uh, if you go to Adventure Quest Worlds, uh, buy upgrades, and you can buy a one month membership here for $10. So if you want to just buy a one month membership just for like uh, getting the items in this video or like just doing stuff that you can only do as a member, which I'll highlight a bunch of that in this video then you can do that and you can also get 1500 coins for it for, for an extra five bucks so it's 500 coins for five bucks uh actually no that's 1500 coins for five bucks so that's that's a decent deal i guess yeah that's a good deal yeah so one month membership uh plus for 15 bucks or 10 bucks so that's the minimum uh price you can pay for one month membership i just thought i'd show you that because a lot of people don't know that you can actually do that they think that three months is the minimum amount of membership time but it's actually one month so Let's get into the first item. All right, the first item for today is the Red Hunting Hood. This is the first one because it's one of my favorites and one of the ones that lots of people get when they get a membership. I've had this on my account since the first time I bought a membership. I've never deleted it and it's a very, very cool item. I like it. It's a little overused and I wish they would do variations on it like a color custom version, a reshade of it. They could do a shiny version. I wish they, I wish they would take this Red Hunting Hood model and make a bunch of uh, new helmets. They did do a green riding hood, which is actually a free non-member item at uh, Slash Iron Overworld, uh, green hunting hood, but, or it's not a green hunting hood, it's called something different. But to get this, you wanna go to Green Guard East, uh, here, go to Quest, and it's called, uh, which one's it called? I think it's the last quest, yeah, right here. So the Death Gazer I, uh, you wanna Slash Join Death Gazer, to get that eye and then yeah it's just killing a death gazer and then you get the you get the quest item it's a super easy quest super cool definitely worth your time it'll take you li literally less than five minutes to do that quest and turn it in and then you get the hunting hood which is a non-member item uh, as all the items in this video are so let's move on to the second item all right for the second item this one's a little bit harder to get uh, by a little bit, I mean quite a bit harder. But it's the Nullgath Larvae. So this is an item you you might be saying, Hey Corey, that's a member item. Why are you including that in, in this video? It is a member item, and this might be a bug. I'm not sure. If it is, they'll probably fix it in the PTR update. Uh, but I, I don't think it's a bug. I think it's intentional, to be honest. It might be a bug. Uh, don't quote me on that, because you can't do it with uh, Drudgeon. Uh, or Craig and Bamboozle, I mean, but you can do it with the larvae, so I think it's intentional. But you can get the, if you get the larvae pet, which, uh, you get it by finding someone with a larvae pet. So you just go to a Yolgar, if you're on a member-only server, if you're on a member-only server, almost everyone will have one. You just ask people for the Nolgath larvae, and you do the quest called, uh, you do the quest called, let me, let me turn my pet on, Nolgath. I think it's called Nolgath. Yeah, Nolgath. So you do this quest, and then you can get your unidentified 13 from this quest. And once you get that, you can go to Nolgath and merge for this pet. So I'm not going to go to Nolgath in this video. Uh, there's lots of videos on YouTube on how to get to Nolgath. Um, it's a complicated and long process to get to him. 
but it's worth it for this pet. So the reason why I recommend this pet, you won't be able to equip it when you're a non-member, but in your inventory, this is the bug I was talking about, or it could be a bug. Um, in your inventory, you can click on him and he still pops up the quest. So you can use him when you're a non-member. I have confirmed that uh, when you're a non-member, the quest still pops up here. So very cool. If you get the pet when you are a member, you can still use them when you're a non-member currently. It might be a bug, like I said, not 100% on that. I don't know if it's glitched. I'll actually check the wiki right now. All right, I'm here on the wiki, and it does not say the item's bugged, so that's good. Good to know, good to know. All right, so let's move on to the next item. All right, now we have classes. So a lot of people know that if you're a member, you can get classes a lot faster. I'm going to show you a few classes you can get faster, so... Here's my class thing. So Blood Titan is a member only class. Of course, you can get that when you're a member. But there's a few classes you can get uh, faster as a member. Cryomancer. Um, there's a few other. Pyro. Omni Knight. Just to list a few. Um, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you can get Blaze Binder faster. And a bunch of other classes like uh, the Collector class and a few others. There's a, a lot of classes that you can get faster as a member. So I would definitely use your time as a member to farm those classes because the daily quests and stuff will go along a lot faster when you have a membership active on your account. Moving on to the next one. Alright, for this one you're going to need the Blade of Awe, but if you already have that, uh, this is a member only item you can get if you have the Blade of Awe. So you want to go to the museum, talk to her, uh, talk about the Blade of Awe, and go to Awesome Gear. Not the gear, the merge shop I mean. And here you can get the Prime Blade of Awe by uh, finding the quest, doing these quests. So it's a very cool weapon you can get if you are a member. It's a member only and it's free AC items. So definitely go for that if you want the Primal Blade of Awe. All right, now I have a very cool location for you. So slash join Sky Guard. You probably know about this place. Uh, there's a hair shop here. And a very cool rep shop with a bunch of cool items in it. So if you go to the rep shop, uh, there's a lot of free items in here uh, that are very cool that you can keep when you're a non-member. And they all mostly cost gold. So it's a bunch of really cool free items. I'll go through and show you all of them. And uh, some of these might go good with your sets. And the sky renderers are some of the coolest items in here. Very cool cape. I like them a lot. They do, they do look a little weird when you run. And I don't like that. But most capes do. So... <laughs> You can't really avoid that. So there you go. You can get a few very cool armors and capes there. So I think one armor, one cape. But they're both fully color custom. I will go show that off in Yolgar. All right, here I am in Yolgar. And we can go into character customization and armor. And we can choose the base color, which changes most of it. It does have a blue tint there that you can't remove. So that's kind of weird. So if you want to like match the blue with it, it's probably a good thing to do that. And also, you, the red hunting hood goes very well with it. And you can even change the green on there. So, yeah, it's a very cool color custom uh, set if you want that. If that's what you're into, you can make it red to match your red hunting hood. Or yellow to match your primal blade of awe and all that stuff. So, let's move on to the next item. Alright, so the next item is very good if you're playing through a storyline in Adventure Quest Worlds. Which you might be if you're a new, new, if you're a new member. So if you're a new member to the game, you might be playing through the storyline, so this item is very good for that. You can farm for this item as a non-member, but I thought I'd throw this in here because you can just buy it with some easy earned gold. So what you want to do is slash join chaos war. One word, no space. You can't put space in slash join. So And then go to shops, lord offender, chaos corruptor. So this will do 50% more damage to chaos enemies. Uh, or 200% damage. I think it might be 200%. I'm not exact, exactly certain what the percentage is, but it's a lot more damage to Chaos. So you'll definitely want that if you're playing through the storyline of the game. Moving on. Alright guys, on to the next item. I literally just finished this questline. So you get an achievement for finish this questline, so it's probably an achievement you want to get. And it did glitch out for me, the questline, but yeah, it was, it was avoidable, the glitches. So I just finished it. And I should have the badge now? Question mark. So it says these are locked, but I can go to them when I finish all the cutscenes. Let's see if I got the badge. 
Yes, I got the badge, Control Delete. So you get a free badge from doing this quest line. Uh, this quest line is in slash join game haven. And there's a set you can get here uh, that I wanted to show off, along with a bunch of other free non-member items. So if you go to Arcadion, I think it's how you pronounce this uh, map name, uh, and you go to the very end, you can get Ethan's uh, gear here, which is that white and blue shirt, uh, the, the blue pants and the white shirt that you always see people wearing when they just get their membership. And my attacks are not working right now. It's a bug in the game currently. Uh, it's a little lag or something. So I'll be back once I get the uh, armor. All right, I finally got the armor. That was so long of a farm. Oh, holy damn. I'm not sure the percentage on the drop on the armor, but I just want to show it off for this video. I know I'm, I'm not going in depth on every item in the video, but that's just to make the video uh, not like 30 minutes long, because then it would be. So let's check out all the gear I just got. Okay, we got the armor, which is a non-member item, and it looks very good with the red hunting hood. We also got this hair, this hair, uh, Ethan's crown, which is a member-only item, but you will have a member when you're in this area. So you can use that for a little bit if you want to. It doesn't look that good in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure the hair isn't color custom, so that kind of sucks. But this looks really good with the red hunting hood. Uh, plus you get that little cape you yeah, see on my back, So, and that is also a non-member item. So a bunch of very cool number items, plus playing through Game Haven is a lot of fun because of all the little, like, everything's an easter egg and that thing, like, it's all video game references, playing through the whole thing from start to finish, it's just pure video game references, so that's a lot of fun to play through that, plus a badge on your character page does not hurt, and it's control delete, so, uh, let's get into the next item. Alright, the best item will be right after this item. So, this isn't an item per se, but it's something that I've learned after playing a bunch of this game that you should probably do if you get a membership and you're going to remove your membership. So, uh, and your membership is going to expire soon. So, what you want to do is go to enhancements in shops and uh, get mem member enhancements. So, you want to get member enhancements for all your classes. So say if your class is a wizard, you're going to want to put the highest level uh, wizard enhancement. The reason why the, the member enhancements are better is because of the plus three. Uh, Non-members only have plus two. Uh, you get plus three on the member only one. So you want to put that on all of the items that you can and try not to re-enhance them uh, if you can. So you want to make sure all your gear is enhanced with member only enhancements because they are objectively better than the non-member ones. So make sure you do that and also the blade of awe enchants. Make sure you have those on your weapons. So. Uh, make sure you do that before you lose your membership. It's kind of a reminder, and that's the ninth item in the list. Now for the last and final item. Last but not least, one of my favorite items is Doge the Evil. So Doge the Evil is the non-member helmet that you can get when you're a member. Very cool. It goes good with Legion stuff. That's probably my favorite part about it. Not my favorite part. It's the Doge part, but... <laughs> So to get this helmet, you want to slash join Necroopolis. I probably spelled that incorrectly. No, I did not. I always think I spell it incorrectly. Talk to Ardix, go to quests. Um, it'll be one of these quests. I think I've already done it. But I'm going to leave a link to a video of a guide I did. It's like a five minute guide. It actually takes quite a while to get this uh, um, item and I don't want to make the video longer than it already is. But this is where you start off doing it, and I will link a video in the description that I made on how to get it if you want an in-depth guide, because if I try to explain it in this video, it'd be uh, hard to understand me explaining it. But uh, it takes like probably 10, 10 to 15 minutes, maybe longer to do it. So it's not that long, but very cool helmet to get if you're looking for a cool Doge helmet. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you watched it to the end, include the word Doge in a comment down below so I'll know you got to the end. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Let's go for 128 likes. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.